from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC Chief Meteorologist Ron Roberts. Hey, I want to make a big shout out to Slayton. Hello to you folks in Slayton, just to the southeast of Lubbock. Um, and you know, things are pretty nice down in Slayton as well. And it was, again, a stormy week for folks in Slayton. Uh, but you know, the reality is that even though we had some rain here at KMAC at the airport, uh, still, uh, the rainfall totals have been pretty sparse, right? And this afternoon, a clear sky with just a few of those fair weather cumulus clouds. So, when we take a look at the live weather sites, whether we're in Slayton, whether in Post, or temperatures are mild, actually, 82 degrees. Uh, 82 degrees from Wolferth, by the way. We uh, didn't get any rain in Post today. 86 degrees in La Mesa. Olton's 87. So, it's a little warmer across the northern half of the South Plains. Now, the dew points, that's an important number. All things considered, if we had convergence, if we had lift, if we had uh, disturbance moving over the area, we might even today get a couple of thunderstorms to go, but it takes more than just a little humidity. These dew points would be on the lower side of acceptable, but it could be something, but again, that's just not happening. Why? Well, this is not a good pattern. High pressure along the four corners. Now, if, if we could get this northwest flow to be a little stronger coming from here to here, we could get that northwest flow, but the four corners high is built all over our region and therefore we can't get any rain. We got, a, we got a, this crazy deep trough along the west coast and we've talked about this now this week, so you've heard this over and over again going into this La Nina pattern by the fall could really make a, an issue for the summer. So this kind of pattern is gonna to lead to very little opportunities for precipitation. When you look at the forecast of the jet stream, it just does not help us. This is even on Monday. You keep going with it into Thursday and it just doesn't help us at all. So when we look at the simulation of where it may rain in Texas, yeah, Texas, we're now looking that way. You see a few showers down south of Interstate 20 across parts of central, south central Texas. And again, on uh, Tuesday evening, that's where things are gonna be. Now there's a front that will be going on top of the ridge that might get to Panhandle, and the Panhandle's in bad shape too. But right now, the amount, we were showing the GFS model yesterday, still showing the European model, 100 evidence. That's all we can squeeze out. And by the way, the global forecast systems model that we looked at last night was actually today uh, practically dry. So here's what the six to 10 day continues to hold. Gotta go with it because it's been consistent with below average precipitation in our region, four corners region where Utah and Colorado and Mexico come together showing temperature readings and of course precipitation remaining below average all the way to 8 to 14 day. Temperatures tomorrow close to 90. By the way, sunscreen time tomorrow, 61 degrees. Occasionally the wind may get up there just a little bit. Seven day forecast, 89 to 88. Watch, he's got there that watch through Wednesday with warmer temperatures on the way by Thursday or so. KMAG News 5 o'clock continues after this.